Good morning from me also. I'm very happy to be here with you. Thank you very much for the invitation on behalf of SEPAN. SEPAN is the federation of recycling and energy recovery industries and companies. Um, our mission is to work with all uh, stakeholders in order to uh, further uh, and advance in Greece uh, both uh, recycling, energy recovery, and uh, circular economy. Now, I, was, uh, I heard uh, with a lot of interest what the previous speakers had to say. I could not disagree more with you when he said that uh, all these are issues that we need to discuss about. I think we have discussed enough. These are issues that we need to take action about. We don't have any more time to delay. Uh, listening to Mr. Sturnaras before, he mentioned uh, a lot, many times, uh, not only the risk that the planet is in, but also the role we all have to play. And this is very important for all of us to understand. Speaking about Greece, and because uh, the marathon actually started here, as you know, circular economy, the way we see it, is uh, like having to run the 42 kilometers, which uh, actually 16,000 runners successfully did last week in Athens. But uh, we are still behind. We are still basically training ourselves in order to manage to run the five kilometers, which is the short run. And why is this? Because, uh, speaking of Greece, we are still stuck in landfilling all our waste, which is really a big shame, uh, because there is useful materials there. Now, SEPAN, our federation, comprises uh, all the big companies uh, that are in the waste treatment uh, business, and also the big recyclers. We have the steel industry, the cement industry, we have aluminum, we have batteries, uh, paper, basically everybody that's involved uh, in recycling. I have to tell you that circular economy is something that we know how to do. It works, we can do it, uh, even though it's still a small scale. Where there is a huge problem is uh, with landfilling or our useful materials. And for this to change, we need to have courage. Hugh, in this case, I could not agree more with you. Uh, courage is, I believe, what we are missing, and the decision to move forward and act and actually change the way we operate. It's going to take a lot of cooperation, and uh, since we have the pleasure to have the mayor-elect, Mr. Dukas, with us, uh, all the cities, including Athens, as you know, in Greece, landfill most of their waste still, as if land is uh, abundant, as if there is no issue with this practice, as if it doesn't destroy the planet. The solutions are there, we know them. There is countries in Europe that are doing much better than us. It is important to understand when it comes to the cities that we have to move away, the local authorities have to move away from having as a first priority to keep the streets clean for the citizens and voters. And we have to realize that there needs to be a very, very close cooperation with the private sector, because the private sector is the one that produces materials, is the recyclers, the actual recyclers. It's not the citizens that recycle. It's the private sector that will take, make use of the recyclable materials to produce new products and put them in the market. And uh, a close cooperation is needed in order to, to do this, because uh, we don't need only to avoid landfilling. We need to make sure that the materials come back to the market in the condition that they should be in order to be reused. So there is a lot to do, and we are very much looking forward to the close cooperation with all the stakeholders to achieve this. Thank you very much. Thank you.